clarification Good there, Lord. but Ken Pecky did not actually pull out a lot of fast lanes. So using that as maybe a deterrent or maybe kind of a another Viper wall in a way to kind of split up the site, that actually wasn't really the case. It was more of trying to get those relay bolts in place for stuns. Yeah, we're seeing V1 kind of test the waters here over at A main. Again, you see a lot of this like kind of 4-1 splits on the attacking side. Like maybe you have like one lurk towards the opposing side and the other four really just focus on taking a site. You know, they did try to lay into A, Duck though, able to draw the first blood. Zelf's just quick to respond though with the snake bite combo. Gonna put the poison orb down as well to block vision, allow them to get safer access for a plant. They will get it down. Here comes Kenpeki though. Oh, and great shoulder comes out. There's the relay bolt. Good concussion. It makes life much easier. Although Penny does at least take out one. That's a valuable trade. 2v3 spike now planted. We've got the cypher sitting up by Whippy just on top of drop. Fault line will connect on the take. Here comes Pancakes, and yeah, great fault line execution. That's the thing about this breach. You know, we, we like you mentioned, we saw it on split, you know, for a while, but honestly speaking... This we're learning. We out here. We out here live, doing it live. Yeah. Same defensive setup. Expect to see this, I think, from a crew. Again, with the ability to go straight on into high gear, right? you can rotate very quickly with yeah. Ken as well on the Nianum, which I think is also kind of another valuable point. You know, you talked about maybe Chamber doing that in a map like this, but you can do the same thing mobility-wise with the high gear out of Ken and that seems to be largely what they're trying to do. Now we're seeing B now being tested here through... Underpass Xander is going to head. A crew just kind of setting up their players, ready to go with some utility. Xander and Effies will make their way underneath the tunnel. This playthrough tunnel is made essentially free with that Viper's Pit. You're looking maybe potentially even to fight for the second orb. And by fight, I mean just take it down because the only place it can be contested from is over the top of tower. So you wait for the gas to be charged up and now you've got Effies in orb, he's still a little bit away from the Rolling Thunder, but hey, it's alt economy in the end. 30 seconds yeah, they're backing off as well. They're actually setting up for the A split through Dish. They already have a couple of players through A main here. Spike now making its way through Dish, just making sure no defenders have actually addressed it just yet. Whippy still putting that pressure on B, trying to keep the defense in place, and three players are still very much committed yeah. here by a crew towards B side, but now here comes that rotation. They're all going to get here pretty much before the Spike even makes its way in. What a good grab well. Just inside A main. Now the retake defensively One can come from remaining. ropes as well as from the backside Slide over towards Lorin. It's just there's not enough time for the fight to get planted. Wow. Uh, that is a life-saving and borderline round-saving grab well that gets proc though. Holy. Yeah, also just got time for that rotation. They had three players still firmly kind of looking at B site, but able to use that grab well and such to be able to get players in the position. As we are seeing the attacking side look to do a little bit of Presence at B with Viper's utility, but very much kind of up over towards A Hall with the bulk of their forces. Again, this this map is a lot about just like initial 4-1 plays to try to get some control, try to fight back aggressive defense. We are seeing the defense get aggressive on both fronts here on the top side of Dish and Top B. And they're going all the way. And they get the big oh. Whippy. Whippy just got smoldered. I have a snake bite that just, he had nowhere to go. Yep. Tried to play this one is... for one, was not allowed. So Zelsus is going to try to stick for this initial plant. Calm very close. We'll find Xander in the astral form. Spike does still go down. Penny, Effie, Zelsus still trying to hold this. The problem is they just are not finding enough elimination. Just down to Effie's. He's been good in the past. He would have to be incredible now. You can wall bit. You want to attack Dish, or you want to attack the arcade. Like, you just want to try to push a little bit of something, at least one or two places to get that intel early. Another quick pass coming over, and Whippy does nothing to do. He, he, Whippy just has to sit there and take it. Oh, man. <laughs> this accrued defense is, you know, again, it's early, and this is around you expect them to win, but V1 have not had a response, really. I mean, they've gotten on site a couple of times, but these this opening push in the last two rounds for a crew has been... Yeah. Non-stop. They've been so successful on just pushing those. There's like a basically four chokes on the map early in the round when the force fields drop that you kind of want to get defensively to get that just much needed information in space. And it feels every choice a crew has made has worked for them. They've either gotten a clear, basically. Or some Astro Stars the there though that could kind of mess with them. Yeah. You've got the rays of neon now playing right in front of Ador. 
So this is a defensive guess saying we'll flash, we'll peek, and we're again just going to get aggressive on you through the A spawn. But this time they do not find anybody, and now the defense will have to at least try to adjust in some way. Viper will be earned off of this. Rolling Thunder is going to get called. They're going to go. The Viper gets called in response, trying to at least keep some players safe in Kampeki over on the backside, closer to B Link. No problem there for first blood. And version one is now gonna have to dry peek on into this Viper's pit and Kam is having himself a heck of a time. Those only get one elimination for now. Zelsus counters the Viper's pit of their own. Problem is Spike has been dropped. It will get collected and Whippy will use that as a chance to plant. Andy, he will, but they are still a man down in this situation. Exactly Xander though has a decent spot, could get something going, but certainly that Neural Death's gonna help things along here for V1. They really need this round. They still have their Viper's pit up. The defense is not really able to get in and Xander's doing a great job just maneuvering backwards and finding a way to still be able to be in tackle later, but he needs to hurry up because the crew's starting to catch frags. Pits down. 1v2. Has, and the crew definitely has them beat out a little bit here. Well, as I say that, they dropped one of the Bulldogs and oh. actually picked up another rifle, so a little bit better. Here we go. Oh, overdrive has been called for Kampeki. Stun's coming out. There's the fault line. Oh, no! It's murder! But it's only two. Thought for a second it was just going to be chain lightning inside of halls. It does get denied, and version one have largely survived. The problem is now they're a bit trapped. Yeah. And we're going to get a 3v2 favor of the defense. Yeah, they were trying to use Cosmic Divide to get onto a site, but the Viper utility has stalled them out in this doorway. Now they finally get to come in, but again, it's at the cost of a player. Now they have to play a two versus three. Xander again Spike trying to planted. do something a little bit tricky here around this Cosmic Divide. And he's going to have to pop off yet again. Rolling Thunder comes into the retake. However, there's nobody on the site for that Rolling Thunder to connect with. So now the offense is able to reposition some stars right around this Spike 2v2. Pancakes has to clear. Has a fault line remaining and a flash point. There's the flash. Not going to be successful. Xander denies. Neon now forward. Could he take the second? Xander on the run. Retracing all the way back. Over towards ropes. It's a solid read from Neon, but can't do anything with it. Have to stick this to at least halfway through. Xander looking to spam through the box. Kill comes through. Is there time? Shabbat is available here for Guck, or Gucci. Is Gucci. Sorry, I called is him Gucci. Well, I feel like when I've seen his name like on other websites, it's just been G-U-C-C-107. Agreed. Without the I. Yeah. So it has been. My fault. I guess it is Gucci. That I wasn't there last game, by the way, either. I can I guarantee okay. you that. Well, I don't know then. I am torn. <sighs> okay, we just looked a little silly for a map. It's fine. How about this play this time around? Offense looking to stack through tree, hit B main. You have a Viper lurking right in front. Oh, Aftershock will come out. That'll actually push some players out, but the stuns and the flashes are great behind that. The crew go two for one, and they hold off, at least for now. Yeah, crew, again, off to a hot start and around. They've done this time and time again. Being able to capture some space, get an early kill, set up an advantage. We've seen V1 fight back a couple of times, though, now. As they're once again trying to set up potentially a B split here from both fronts. Right there. 30 seconds left. Off the rope. And Peggy timing here. Ha, oh, it's so good. Very good. Gets away as well. Protects himself on the opposite side with the stun. Xander, though, beautiful head tap on to Pancakes. Can't find Campeki, though, who's just been an absolute terror on this Neon. Perhaps now two days in a row after having a great game with the agent yesterday. <laughs> yeah, for real. I will say the incredible Sova game he had just had with no assists is not what you're looking for out of a breach on this map. As we are going to see again, defense got a little bit forward on Dish early, but are now backing off. And V1 are filling that void, coming into this with mostly just upgraded pistols. They have the one Spectre on Effies. They do have a Neural Theft on Whippy. Cars are coming in. Here comes the push. Calm trying to slow them down with the snake fight. Effies does get a plant off. Really good paint shells. That'll push Com back. V1 looking to shake off some of this decay that they have gone through in a number of different facets. Fault line for Gucci to move on in. Tons to divide at the ready if needed. 
And Pecky also, an opportunity to maybe try to hit a little bit of a pinch from the door, but as they swing open, might not make a difference. Thought for a second that there was going to be a really good luck here. Sliding across! Oh my goodness, can Pecky almost pull them both on? <laughs> you think the simple addition's easy, but you try it. No, it never is. You would think also, just looking at the top where it says round nine, I would yes. know that there's been eight rounds played, but exactly. you know, my awareness is that No math required sometimes. there. No. Defense pushing dish big time. And Whippy's caught on to that. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Secret agent. Is he going to get caught on the oh, zipline? Almost did. That would have been sick. But no, they all get here just out towards A main. And to set up the attack yet again. This will be interesting too because a crew are not in a position to defend this initially the retake is going to have to come through ropes and drop yep and actually how about this pancakes is going to go on the rope all the way around the back so they're actually going to try to contest this by essentially suffocating v1 on the site itself just comes down to when do you go yeah it's all about how well they've been setting up their retakes and practice and such andrew gets the first blow but a crew steps right back with the showstopper in Kampeki's neon yet again coming to fruition for a second. Last player standing. All right, Xander. Great triple from him. 1v2 now for Pancakes, who never got that flank off. Aftershock could flush some players down. That'll be used to try to push Xander, nice. and it will. Now the last player behind the Radiant Knight crates. Pancakes going to play for the sound. Check an early skirmish, or if it's just going to be early intel and early flanks. Mm. We're going to see an attack yet again being laid over towards a side here. And Pecky, though, has the God Alt available. This channel of Zeus. The thing about yes. it is oh, not going to find oh. anything. Yeah, this is That's troublesome. Big. V1 and have a free takeover towards A. The Rolling Thunder, again, didn't really connect to anybody because nobody was home. But it doesn't make a difference when you know you've got the confidence to cleanly get into the site. So now Neon in the back. Only is able to tally up one. They can set up a quick flank, so it, mm. that's how it feels to me at least. But again, I'm very new to commentating and, and watching Fracture. I've only you know seen a handful of games on it. There really isn't that much information out there on it. When I've even tried asking like coaches and stuff, like, what's the deal? And they're like, we don't know. It's the Wild Wild West out there right now on this map. So <laughs> uh, it's like, all right, well, I'll, I guess I'll just fly by the seat of my pants. Speaking of flying, Penny's able to get the B tower. Defensively, Rolling Thunder comes out. That actually does connect these players up top. The problem is this is a two-way hit, and the players on the bottom side have at least allowed a chance for those caught on tower to shake off the status effects of the Rolling Thunder, and the spike will now get planted. It is just chaos with green smoke everywhere. At the moment, this Viper's Pit that Celsus has been able to utilize to clear off some major space. Almost backs up to an aftershock. That would have been bad news. But regardless, it's a five-on-two, and you really don't hold out much hope for Campec or Neon. I mean, Camp Pecky's been good, but it does seem like a bridge too far. Almost out. And now yeah, they're getting out. Phantom for Neon. Full bot, though, is V1. Right there. Looking once again. They've been really favoring this A hit. And you can see why. Oh, Blast Pack straight on in to the showstopper. Oh! But the crew got a judge inside the nebula. Shuts it down before the trigger can get pulled. So we go to a 4v4, and all of a sudden... Tom has now Big moved sad. this judge into a very dangerous position if V1 commit here. How sad do you think Penny is about that very showstopper? Sad. Yeah, that's what I feel like. A tear was shed for sure, as we are seeing. V1 kind of slow it down now a little bit, and the defense is weary that they could be backtracking, so you see them rotating Pancakes and Campecki over to B-side. They wouldn't be wrong for doing so. It seems like V1 is considering that option right now as they're looking to get over towards tree position with the bulk of their forces. They have left... Whippy behind still over towards A main. We are going to see Xander and Co. start to, again, continue to push out tree position. Toxin screen down. Might start testing the tunnel. You know what? I don't know what they're doing. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Seems like they're now backing off towards A again. I guess they were just hoping the defense might try something. Right. Didn't really get a response, and so now they're just gathering back up for the hit. The thing about this play is they're actually going to the more dangerous side at the moment because of this judge. Because on the other side, Kampeki and Pancakes have really no utility to hold this. So now Com in a corner with the judge. No, gets nothing! Xander swings, finds the free kill. Now Pancakes in, trying to challenge the spike, but will not be able to find an angle. And once again, it rests with Kampeki. Yeah, and he's been found out by the neural theft, so... He's going to have a hard time just trying to brute force his way through all this utility. 
and manpower. These inks of the king. kind of have to think that, hey, your crew's going to say, okay, Kampeki, show them what you can do here. A little bit of a gap here in this Viper wall. Elsis and Xander trying to play around it here from power on the little high-low stack as the attack is certainly looking to lay into this area of the map, and they're not giving up. Zelsus tries to back off with the snake fight there. Xander collects a kill onto Neon. Whippy now going to come into the fray. V1 are fighting pretty flank. well here. Yeah. Yeah, this long flank from V1. This is such a good stall out for Zelsus. So now you're behind the play, and V1 had to be feeling like this is the time for this flank to just win us the round. Yep. And Packy's still working, though, around the backside of the B site. Point of contact is going to be everything. Who sees who first here? One Pennies are on the back. Yeah, that's an easy shot. And Pecky is completely stuck. Actually, surprised. 15,000 <laughs> over from E1. <laughs> Casual investment. Big push at dish. And he spots it. Escapes the stun and gets the paint shell. Oh, shelf. my gosh. That is so good. That was so close to being dire for Penny, but he found a way to avoid the stun and gets two kills, including a good landing of the paint shells. And Effie's actually had the aftershock up. I thought it was going to be a flashpoint to try to keep Penny safe. Fault line may have been thrown into the mix as well. It's just a lot of utility at once. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Really got us the full picture of what the heck happened. Oh, and yeah. now it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yep. Because initially it just looked like Penny was trying to hold on to that little rock in front of him and saying, I'm just, I'm just here for a good time. Maybe not a long time. A two, two for two, two exchange, Ye. quick, and how about the early flank once again for V1? Yeah, I mean, that's just how this match would play out sometimes. It's, again, it's kind of a guessing game in a way, but if the two teams meet on one of those choke points right off the rip, you can see these quick early skirmishes, and Whippy comes in for a double. And that's going to be all on calm now. Still fully healthy, but so is Penny and Effie's, and they're on equal firepower. Spike is down, so that is bad news for calm. I'm trying to rethink. Go on. In my old age, my memory is not what it used to be. How old are you? 33. Oh, wow. I thought you were you were younger than me for some reason, because I'm also a boomer. I know. We're big-time boomer kids. We're here. massive boomers. But for a crew, I don't recollect them hitting through BRK a lot on their offense yesterday. Okay. I, I, if if I'm remembering correctly, a lot of it was Kanpeki trying to kind of force things, maybe even through main and tunnels. I, I don't really recall them hitting left. over through arcade a super amount of long time, but mm -hmm. this time it's been almost every single hit's been through arcade. And I mean, those boxes are really just there as a figment of your imagination. They're they're barely a deterrence to any sort of damage as you can wall bang through all sides of it. Yes, yeah, Calm's trying to sneak his way around again here with the spike through this first open qualifier. They have a second one next week. That will discover four more teams to meet the four that are already sitting there waiting. It'll be 12 teams total. Another setup through Arcade. Stuns, nades. That will allow a chance for Neon to get up top into tower. Viper's pit immediately used defensively to respond to this potential play. The thing about it is you've got the counter Viper of Calm trying to sneak through B main, at least for now. The defense has largely rotated, save just one. It's Whippy who's still holding, and there's no reason for him to rotate as Zelsus and Penny combine for three, and the spike has still sat up top of tower. I'm able to get one there, but Zelsus is just continuing to mop up inside of his pit, leaving Calm now all alone with a stinger and a dream. Or Sapphire right, here we go. Uh, working for Dignitas and also an Observer, so... There you go. Then Heather's brother also used to be a huge Counter-Strike player named Juan. So You are just a th source of knowledge. Yes. The source isn't the right term. Encyclopedia of knowledge would be what I was really looking for. Here we go. Fault line, or pardon me, not fault line. It's going to be the fast track in. Whippy. Cued to defend. Unable to take one. Penny, though... Over towards A ropes, does find one of the take. Not going to stop the spike from being planted, though, as it does get down successfully. Paint Shell's trying to contest this play through halls. And Pecky has gained a little bit of space here, just up close and personal. You've also got Kamu even further in front of this and does tally up Celsius. Showstopper, forced on in. Goes right into the Cosmo Divide wall. That's not going to find value. So now Penny goes to a bit of a different look, and oh boy. They work their way through, and they come back to finish off Neon, and version's one retake was... The flash had hit plus with the satchel charges. I thought for maybe a second that he was going to be completely missed by all three members. 
And Pecky denied immediately. That's twice this now. Is, it's absolutely not just twice, but it's a lot of utility that is spent to enable Ken Pecky from getting forward, and version one has had none of it. Yeah, that's big to just shut down Ken Pecky's overdrive. Now twice this game, not getting any value out of it. That's big. That's such a powerful alt that you want to be using to create openings and to have it eradicated like that is devastating. Still some alts available here for version one with their Cosmic Divide and their Neural Theft. None available on the opposing side other than the Viper's Pit, but you need to be able to actually get that spike down first to set that up for post-plant. And right now they're kind of at a standstill. They're still set up for a bit of an A pinch through Dish and Main, but there's two defenders playing over towards Main, one of them being Effies, who will be the first to spot, gets a good angle and a good kill onto Pancakes and backs off. It's such low health. That's so, so tough. Penny. Spam now, through a metal down. door by a specter. That's going to feel bad. Yeah, pit down. Spike can go down. 30 seconds left. Still anyone's round, though. I mean, it's a three on three. Yeah. So still a chance. And Zelsus already strikes onto Neon. So now how much can you actually hold inside this Viper's pit? Because there is a bit of a gap in this, by the way. Potentially worth the way through. The sound cue and a crew is, oh, no, I'm out of here. Nope, not going to try to fight this 1v multiple. So they back up towards safety. On the platform goes the Astra. Whippy, Zelsus is trying to challenge. Come up front. Kills will largely be their 1v1. Viper on Viper action. Com's going to have to come to this. Zelsus, do you have the reaction to hit this shot? On the back side, sure does. Oh, no. I, I always get really, I know I shouldn't, but I get a little bit creeped out by some of the, uh, animals in this game. I don't know. Do you really? Yeah, just some of them are a little odd. <laughs> some of them are innocent enough and fun. Some... I don't know. A little scary. Here we oh. go. That boom bot. Done with the big things. Sets up Xander. Oh wow, my! Oh, dude. Neon, decent attempt for the response. The problem is the flank was there. It's the same version one. Fault line, grab well, paint shells, pushes back a crew. The flank is there to pick up the pieces. It, it, for a moment, you thought a crew maybe did enough to keep the play alive, but now the spike is down and Com has to deal with a high-low stack. Unreal. Well, you might get Whippy for free, maybe, if you can shoot him in the back of the head. Then it would just be the 1v1. I don't know. They're both looking. The... You would think Whippy would turn around, look the other way. Surely. Oh, about to back up right into it. Surely. Oh, my God. So focused on the play coming from A-side. Yeah. Oh, well. They still have a good cushion. Yeah. Viper's pick goes down the control. Don't have or either. Yep. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Yep. Oh, good evade there from Penny. He almost got in some trouble, but able to satchel out. Here. Oh, the defense has made a headache of this round for a crew who would essentially only find freedom if they use the ropes to get over towards bridge side. Rolling Thunder offensively comes through. That'll actually hit a ropes. Neon up top. It does connect. Counter Rolling Thunder, though. Is there any follow-up? That's the question. The Aftershock is in such a good spot. Kim Pecky's in trouble. Does stay alive, but if only barely. Oh, my goodness. Even Penny going to add a oh. little bit of insult to injury with the Blast Pack. Yeah, Kim Pecky's Pecky so down low. to a single shred of HP, and we've got ourselves a defensive 4v3. Yeah, they're basically forced onto A because Viper's Pit's locking down B. But Kim Pecky's low underneath. There's still two defenders ready to fight here. It's going to be Penny... And Effie's just holding angles, waiting for the press in. Heck, even Xander's starting to consider rotating over here towards A because he feels like Zelsus can kind of hold this on his own towards B. And the crew certainly are looking left. to go. Hey, they don't want to mess with that Viper Spit. They're starting to make their way in, starting to get some space. Again, V1 patient. They have man advantage. I know they have health advantage as well at Kampeki low, so they're just kind of biding their time for the free take. But that's a big kill from Kampeki. That maybe helps things along. I think his Penny's right above him. As Kempeki found himself a corner that maybe does not go checked. That would pretty much need to be the case here, or he needs to just pop off for an incredible headshot. Cosmic Divide comes into the offense. Pancakes around the corner, runs into two. Feral is seen. Kempeki confirms. Now down to the 2v2. Mad dash away. Still a lot to play with, including the fast track. Grab well up top. The counter. Good angle here on where the spike is, but. Now the poison cloud comes out. There's the spam. Celsus uh -oh. does not get checked in the right corner. Celsus is going to hold this. Oh Xander are able to find the double. Time for the defuse. So very much just going to be down the base abilities.
Defense still looking to potentially late hit over towards Dish. Setting up for that same fault line. Grab all combo if needed. The thing is, there's a spy cam here if they really feel that there could be a hit. There will not be, though. Spike is still lingering towards B tree. And Ken Pecky is looking to potentially hit this maybe with that same aggression from Neon over through B tower as they can get that little blast pack boost from Arcade. Yeah, looks like they are setting up for this B split yet again here. Three from Tree, two from Arcade side. Flank coming in through Dish, though, for V1. They set up for this retake. Reach utility coming in to lay into the attack. Xander certainly getting pressured here up top, but holding the angle gets the kill onto Neon and what? flicks back for Tom. That's huge to set up time for this retake to come in. So we get a 3v2. Spike has not been planted as of yet, and actually Pancakes is maneuvering back over towards the They want to try to get some fights here. The problem is they're not in a position to actually do that. 